I want to start this video off by saying, uh, yeah, this is not a, at all what I expected to be done by somebody who is 12 years old. Okay, what I'm about to show you is a video that popped up on Reddit yesterday, and I really wanted to post this earlier, but I was at work, and, uh, hey, cat, and, uh, Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, this person wrecked this home. All right, um, I'm just gonna move over to the video, too. What are you doing, cat? Stop. I'm just gonna show you, uh, the video so y'all can start seeing what's going on. Alright, so like just from the start here, um, you can see like th th this kid, they don't they don't show the kid in the video, obviously for many reasons. Um But then pulled the fridge out, pulled the stove out, broke mirrors, trashed the whole kitchen, trashed part of the living room, bro broke, I don't know how, part of the counter that's made out of granite. Even if it's not granite, it's that imitation stuff, how? How? Like how is this? Is this kid the Incredible Hulk? He gets angry. He's destroyed the TV. Destroyed all the glass tables. I don't know what's over there on the side. I guess only the bathroom mirror there got destroyed. Bye bye TV. Baby bag. <laughs> like, bro, I'd feel like somebody just broke into my house and robbed me if I saw this. I don't know if y'all saw that uh, giant hole in the wall. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you see this? How? How? Alright, so... Camera cut out on all my USB, or half the USB devices attached to my computer, decided to, uh... Just all disconnect and not work, including keyboard, mouse, and a few other things. So I had to restart my computer. Anyway, back to this video. Um, uh, yeah, but like how? How? How does this happen? What are you feeding your child? Better yet, what did your child find? Are you living near Chernobyl? Like, if you don't catch that reference... Okay, nuclear power plant. Incredible Hulk vibes going on with this kid. Like, come on, man. Like... This is just terrifying. This this makes me not want to have kids. Like, how does this type of destruction and mayhem happen? Like, it's gone. Everything, everything they have is gone. It's like he was like anything of value, gone. And it's like... Honestly... Honestly, like, what this says to me is... In my perspective, I, I don't know if this kid's just fucking crazy or if he's very emotionally intelligent. And what I mean by this is that if you look at it, it's like this phone might be like the only thing this kid has to attach to and the only thing that he has to like reach out into the world. That's like his communication out. And... 
to take it away from him, take his phone away. Like, this is why he caused this whole rampage. Um, I think he's just flipping it back on them. You're going to take away my world and everything I love around me, and I have to live in this house? Well, I'm going to take away everything that you've worked for and everything around you. I want you to feel my pain. I want you to cry. I want you to have that emotional distress. I think that's maybe what's going on, but I doubt it. But, I mean, if it is, he definitely proved a point. Okay, so there really wasn't much left there. Uh, I finished it out. and it just It was literally like three seconds. Um, but, why? What would you do? Like, what would you do in that same situation if... Even if you came home, like, I really doubt they were home when this happened. If they, if they were home, oh my god. Y'all are some very patient parents. I gotta give you that. I found this comment, and it was highlighted, obviously, in uh, the comment section on Reddit. Um, kind of ignore all these. I guess it's people just talking. But it says, uh, the actual context is the mother has a 15-year-old son... Not a 12-year-old son. That, that, okay, so maybe it is a teenager. Uh, with severe mental problems, he's 6 feet tall, 250 pounds, which could explain the severity of the damage. No, that doesn't explain it. He, he, again, he fell into radioactive waste and turned into the Incredible Hulk's miniature version. That's, that's what the hell happened. Uh, she also didn't mean for this video to go public. And the person she sent it to uh, leaked it. Yeah. That's usually how it happens. So. Honestly, like. I, I don't know what I would do. I, I really don't. Like, I think I would actually have to. I think I would have to actually be in this situation. As it's happening. For. Me to really feel or understand what I would do because I, I really don't I, I, I don't would I go on and hit the kid no uh, no I absolutely not. I think it doesn't solve anything it's just gonna make it's just gonna make that person matter and it doesn't solve anything for you so we're gonna go oh get your anger out and then you're hitting the kid for the wrong reason but I'm not I'm not gonna discuss that it's a whole other topic um I I mean coming from a guy perspective me I'd, I'd probably try to restrain him but i mean overall i if he after the first thing he broke i would just be like you know what never mind hey stop Look, you can have the phone you can have the phone give it back to him and then we'll sort it out from there and i know a lot of people in the comments will be like you know if you give him back his phone then he's gonna feel like he can do whatever he want it's like no i'd rather you have your phone and get what you want than continue destroying the house in this manner you want to dirty up your room? Don't care. You want to throw papers on the floor? Don't care. You're grounded. You know, but as soon as I seen you break half the countertop off, it's like, here's your phone. I gotta, I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure this out because uh, that, that's too much. You can only imagine what he would do next. Which I don't think these people would have assumed unless they really know their child that well. Which I mean, I would assume they know their child that well. So this might have just been a spurred incident. But I would not want to see what this kid would do next. I don't think that's what they planned on. So it's kind of outrageous and kind of crazy. And again, I do take into account that I don't think they were home when this happened. I think they took his phone and then when they left, you know, he probably was like, hey, no, I really need my phone. I want my phone while y'all are gone. And they're like, no. And uh, the clock started ticking as soon as they shut the door. Anyway, uh, if you want to go check the video out, I'm going to throw the link. Uh, I mean, I pretty much showed it all in here. I'm going to throw the link in the description. But, yeah, that's uh, something I want to look at. I figured probably most of y'all have already seen it already. But, anyway, if you haven't, here you go. Until next time.